Hello, hello, Mordi Mers here and welcome back to Magnus Carlsen Chess Tour Finals Day 3 and this is gonna be the blitz time control game because uh, Magnus Carlsen won the first game of the match um, and then Hikaru Nakamura equalized and I would like to uh, tell you that if you want to see this game and if you want to uh, understand this game check the video before because the players play exactly the same line and there are a little details which decided about this game so if you want to master you know how to play against um, this line in the berlin defense it's really good to know these two games and all of the ideas i explained most of the ideas and hikaru nakamura really gave us the master class so uh, without further ado let's jump into this blitz game uh, magnus Carlsen gonna play as black so the same and um, Hikaru Nakamura as white uh, so we have exactly the same line e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 Berlin defense after knight f6 and then d3 uh, bishop c5 uh, bishop takes on c6 d takes on c6 knight b to d2 uh, and now castle by magnus carlsen of course the the pawn cannot be taken uh because of the tactic uh it's it's defended by the tactic with the attack on the on the knight so that's not possible this is why queen e2 was played by hikaru nakamura uh so exactly the same line and now we have rook e8 to protect the pawn knight c4 and now knight d7 so magnus goes for the same line and now hikaru deviates because uh in the third game he played h4 and after a5 uh, h5 and this pawn was on h5 and h5 pawn actually controls g6 so uh for example this knight can jump to f5 very comfortable square um and also it's it's very important that this pawn is on h5 and i will explain you why uh, but Hikaru played bishop d2 and this is the main line here uh, and now for example a5 is not possible bishop and the knight uh, controls a5 so first uh, Magnus kicks the, the knight so we have b5 knight e3 uh, pretty much very natural square for this knight and now Magnus also remaneuvers the knight so we have knight f8 so definitely Magnus want to bring the knight to e6 uh, and here Hikaru goes for h4 so it looks like you know um, very similar Magnus actually should go for a5 very important just play a5 and then continue the game however Magnus blitzed almost immediately knight e6 uh, and as I explained before uh, this is a trap so if Hikaru takes on e5 uh, then it's guarded by this tactic knight on d4 uh, with the attack on the queen and the knight is lost so uh, this is the problem the point is that hikaru actually went for this trap so this time you know knight e5 uh, why did he do that because actually he set up the counter trap and magnus carlsen spent quite some time just saying okay what what is going on here uh, and actually if he play knight d4 there is the problem because after knight f7 uh, the queen is under attack the queen is under attack but this is nothing um, after king f7 there, there is queen h5 with the attack on the king and the bishop on c5 so king g8 queen c5 and look at this this queen actually defends c2 the bishop can come to this diagonal extremely strong and this pawn gonna roll and another pawn also gonna roll in the center uh white just simply gonna castle on the queen side this is just you know insane uh, however interesting that after knight f7 magnus could simply exchange the the knights uh, so for example knight e2 and after knight d8 uh, there is knight d4 and this knight is trapped this knight is trapped uh, white would have to play something like c3 kicking the knight the defender of c6 so this knight could escape but of course uh, it's not in the black's interest so uh, rook d8 and after c takes on d4 bishop d4 probably white would go for the for the castle and white has one extra pawn 
but it's still pretty playable. For example, the bishop can go to e6, you know, uh, focus on a a2, and th this bishop also is on, on quite nice diagonal. Um, the pawns can roll also on the queen side. So black probably would have some counterplay without the queens. Maybe that would be more difficult. Uh, white has one extra pawn, but um, you know, uh, this pawn's gonna roll in the center, so uh, white probably. Uh, shouldn't have the, the problems with, with the game. Uh, however, Magnus Carlsen just pretended, okay, nothing happened here, nothing happened, uh, and he played a5. Uh, he lost the pawn, and he told maybe Hikaru would just, you know, retreat with the knight, but the problem is Hikaru can, uh, can jump to c6, uh, and then after that can take the pawn on, on a5, so win two another pawns, uh, that would be just insane. But Hikaru found even stronger move, because he thinks, okay, I can jump here uh, later, it's nothing gonna stop me. Uh, queen h5 first, and there is even stronger threat here. And now, uh, how to defend? Uh, if black tries something like queen e7, then of course we still have knight, uh, knight c6, and after queen d6, knight a5, and this knight gonna, gonna just jump, uh, as I show you. Uh, so Magnus Carlsen played g6, kicking the queen, but the queen goes to f3. So the position of black in front of the king is, you know, the pawns are really, really weakened. Uh, look at the dark squares. They, they are completely weak. The, the bishop is far, far away. Um, Rook f8, for example, defending uh, wouldn't really work because of the same, okay, knight c6, uh, queen d7, and now even the, the knight can, of course, jump to a5, but there is even stronger move, queen f6, uh, queen f6, and if black takes on c6, the problem is bishop c3, uh, and now this pawn is stuck, and there is the, the checkmate on h8. So what black would have to do is give up the material, bishop d4, and after exchanging all of that stuff, white has two extra very healthy, uh, you know, central pawns and, um, and winning position. Uh, so uh, Magnus played f6. He doesn't want to have, you know, um, the pawn on f6. It, it looks, you know, pretty ugly. Uh, so he makes some space for the king. Uh, and now we still have knight c6, queen d7, Queen f6 um, and now queen c6. And here uh, Hikaru went for the same variation I just show you. So bishop c3. However, there is even one stronger move than that. There are two winning moves. So bishop c3 is one of them, but there is one stronger move. So if you would like to find it and crush Magnus Carlsen, that's really crushing uh, continuation. Uh, pause the video uh, while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So if you would like to crush um, the world champion, knight g4 is the way to go. What's the threat? The checkmate. Checkmate on h6, this is check, and of course the queen controls all the squares around, uh, so that would be the checkmate. So bishop f8 is actually forced. Uh, but then knight e5 with the attack on the queen and also helping the queen to get to f7. Uh, so queen d6 and now queen f7, king h8 and there, there are a couple of ways to win. For example, uh, queen e8, that, that's possible. It's not the strongest move yet. I will show you the strongest move. Um, the knight cannot be taken because of the bishop on c3. So it's completely winning for white, of course. Uh, also, what is possible is bishop c3 immediately, and this already look very, very ugly. Uh, but the strongest move in the position is actually h5. And h5, of course, you know, attacks on g6, uh, and then the rook gonna deliver the checkmate. So if black tries to, you know, take the pawn, then simply rook h5, and there is still a checkmate on h7. So black would have to play knight g7, blocking the queen. Uh, but then we have beautiful knight g6, and the pawn is pinned. So the only legal move is queen g6, and white gonna win the queen and the game pretty easily. 
and another option, black could try to play something like g5, uh, and it looks like, okay, all the problems are solved because the rook doesn't have the, the open file, but again, knight g6, boom. Uh, and the only legal move is, of course, h takes on g6. And after h takes on g6, this, of course, is a checkmate. Black can throw, uh, you know, uh, two pieces, but this is still a checkmate. So, uh, knight g4 uh, followed by, you know, knight e5, and this is just crushing. Uh, however, Hikaru played bishop c3, which is also winning. And now we have rook f8 uh, kicking the queen, but the queen, of course, uh, can check on h8. Uh, and now we have king f7, queen h7, picking up another pawn, king e8, now picking yet another pawn on, on g6. So now a uh, white has five pawns for the, for the knight, which was on c6. Um, and now uh, whatever black play, it's just, it just, it just lost. Uh, Rook f7 is possible, but this pawn gonna just march or even the knight can jump, uh, you know, deliver the check, pick up the rook and, and win the game. Uh, Magnus went for king d7, but look at this. This is the wall which, you know, black has the problem to, to move and black definitely would like to hide with the king. Uh, so Hikaru uh, just simply plays d4. He want to uh, open the open the d file, bring the rook over there, uh, and you know checkmate the king. And uh, and if the bishop is moved, then of course uh, d5 is coming, picking up this this knight and and wins the game. So uh, Magnus played b4, but after d takes on c5, uh, he resigned. Uh, and he resigned, he can do nothing here. Um, now, if he takes the bishop, the problem is uh, simply, you know, castle uh, with the check and the king has not much squares to go. King e7, but then uh, knight d5 comes with check, uh, king d8, and now knight b4 with the attack on the queen, discovered check. Uh, if if black actually want to, you know, uh, block with the queen, there is a beautiful check checkmate on c6 so uh, it's you know undefendable position this is why after d takes on c5 Magnus Carlsen resigned beautiful game and I would like to show you uh, what just happened in the another blitz and all the match uh, during day three so in the first game as I told you uh, Magnus Carlsen won then we had the draw then Hikaru Nakamura uh, won um, in the against the Berlin defense and I show you that game I, I really recommend uh, to check it again uh, and then we had the draw and this was the blitz I just show you beautiful miniature by Hikaru Nakamura as you see Little details in the Berlin defense makes, uh, you know, a lot of difference and, you know, sometimes taking on e5 is possible. Uh, and then in the second blitz, Magnus Carlsen had a beautiful position, beautiful attack and he dominate. However, Hikaru Nakamura found the resources and he uh, managed to draw that game. So that means a third match belongs to Hikaru Nakamura. So uh, as you see, the finals, Magnus Carlsen has a one point, Hikaru Nakamura two points. And now I see there are the, the seven matches. So best of seven. That means Hikaru Nakamura needs two more uh, matches to win, to actually win the finals of Magnus Carlsen chess tour finals. And Magnus Carlsen is in very, very difficult uh, situation uh, he still needs to win three matches so how do you like this game this was just insane miniature and yeah if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like and if you don't want to miss another videos another games from Magnus Carlsen chess tour finals press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one